Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Divas and Dumbasses. I'm your host, Jack. I am a dwarven rogue named Ilda. I'm Seth. I'm a tiefling bard. I'm Boris, or if some people call me Boreas, I'm a human. All right. And when we last left off, our party had defeated a shadow demon after getting the shit kicked out of him. Finally. And, um... The thing so, didn't die! Yeah. Was and, it 70 uh, some HP? As we rejoin our heroes, suddenly, Jeremy looks very pale, groans, <laughs> and collapses. This is not surprising. It's the meat. My god, are you okay, Jeremy? So... You're gonna pop out from behind this. You can make a medicine check, see if he's okay. If you want. Nah, it's not that important. The paladin or anybody? Anybody. I really don't care. <laughs> Jeremy, I believe I in you. I want to say that I don't care, but I was... But since... Yeah. It, since my clan is very focused on it, and I still stick to my values, I'm gonna roll it. Yeah, and Jack's gonna try to see too, just to give it a he, shot. It, I'm too nice to this kid. He doesn't deserve this. So Jack knows. Ilda, do you want to try as well? All right. So Ilda, you can surmise that he is sick for some reason. Sorry, and damn it, I can't see the I can't see the dice when they roll mm -hmm. because of the the character sheet. Yeah, it's all good. I think I might have accidentally turned it off on this. Oh, <laughs> I forgot the. Uh, well, it's a good thing I decided to keep the chat open. I guess the uh, the browser created by our capture software does not support the three D dice. So that's interesting, but um. Aren't you on Chrome? Yes, but the browser is not specifically Chrome. It's Chrome created by um by oh, OBS software. Capture. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, so Jack determines and informs the group that um it seems that the meat that uh, Jeremy ingested has made him nauseous and ill to the point of passing out. He is stable, but he's unconscious. So, uh... Can somebody take his flutolin and hide it? Yes, I do that right now. Okay, make a stealth check to hide it. It's not like you can see it. I know, it's for future reference that I'll probably forget. Uh, right, I'll say you can hide it, just for the sake of the party. You have it stashed somewhere on your person. Where you want to hide it specifically is up to you, but you may want to turn off your advantage. Yeah, I just did that. Alright, so, for now, Jeremy would love to see this. By the way, uh, just for the viewers knowing, the our buddy Jeremy who plays Jeremy is currently unavailable. But, um, this is the GM solution to it, which fits into the story. So, do you complain? I don't care. Shut up. <laughs> but, um, Jack hoists Jeremy up onto his shoulders and begins carrying him off. And says, we should probably just take him back to the hotel and let him rest up for the night. Mm -hmm. And then come back here in the morning. And, um, as... They start to move away. You hear a loud crack sound from somewhere over in this direction. Oh, crap. What Are was that? Are you kidding me? And uh, you see a little puff of dirt come up in the ground about here. Oh, God. <laughs> right now, where he just moves. What do you want to do? Dive for cover. All right. So, you hear, um... <sighs> I should probably do so. Well, 
Jack just says, come on, let's get out of here before anything happens. Hint, 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 hint. I chase after. Alright. So, Jack is this isn't good. moving as quickly as he can while hauling Jeremy. Hey! Hey, uh, devil. Well, hey. Yo, my boss sized me and got me off early. Awesome. Well, we You're are recording, right so welcome to You're the chat. You're being carried in your unconscious. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. I came in at a beautiful fucking moment. Yeah, you're being hauled oh. off as something loud just cracked from behind us. And um, I'm guessing everyone just wants to move to the hotel for the night? The inn, yes. Uh, let me get everybody. I like how Seth is purposefully trying to navigate through the houses. <laughs> God, I should have prepped for this more beforehand. You always say that. I know. Alright. I'm here, bitches. Am I currently... You're unconscious, you can't speak. Okay. I'm telepathically thinking, and no, I'm just kidding. So, with that, the group... God damn it, now I have to move this too. Sorry, audience, that's the bottom corner of the map. But, um. This is where we are heading. Yeah. So the group clusters up and begins to navigate back towards the tavern that they originally arrived in. And uh, they hear some yelling and some. I'll just move the group myself, but, um... Sorry, I was turning mine around. Mine was walking backwards. <laughs> it's all good. But, um, the group arrives at the tavern. They bust in. Jack's hauling, uh, Jeremy's unconscious form. And, uh, the innkeeper says, Wait, 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 what's going on? But Jack just busts right past him, runs up the stairs, and, uh, shoulders open the door and lays Jeremy down. We're going to apologize uh, to the innkeeper and assure him everything is okay. Yeah, so. I, also, I would also apologize to him because, again, like, my nature of doing that. Right. And I would start explaining what went on as far as I could, I guess, explain. So, um, now that we have returned to the tavern, I'm assuming everyone wants to take a nice long rest. Yes. Yes. I would take a long rest after I finish explaining to the tavern to the tavern keeper. Uh, well, give me a second. I concur that we need to take our rest. Give me a second IRL to get ready. And uh, in the meantime, everybody go ahead and replenish your hit points and your spell slots and all that stuff. Dun, dun, da, da, da. Me too. So I'd say it's probably about like 8 o'clock, 8.30 p.m. when you guys get back to the tavern. And if you want to take a nice long rest, that'll make it. That's 8 hours, so that'll put you at 4 o'clock in the morning. Do you just want to sleep until uh, 6, maybe? Sure. Um, Sorry to the audience, I'm kind of mainlining this, but yeah. Oh well. I had a very, very quick question. Um, yes. What is your initiative based off of? Your dexterity that, modifier. That explains why it changed. I was like, why is this a different number now? Okay, that's yeah. fine. I I'm good now. Okay, does anybody else have any questions about leveling up? Did everybody replenish the hit points and stats and all that good stuff? Yes. Aside from uh, Boreas, who did not actually level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Okay. So, morning comes, sun rises, and with it rises the party, including Jeremy now. So, Jeremy, you wake up. And you notice that your flutter has gone missing. Oh, what the fuck? Who took it? 
if you want to roll for that, you can roll a perception check. I guess I should have had you roll to notice if it was missing or not. But, okay. <laughs> I can fucking pull it out. Yeah. Where'd it go? He like goes to play and he's like, Huh? 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 Holy shit. Oh, man. Alright. Hey, you... Jesse. Yes? Hey, Jesse, what's the, uh, what's the command to, uh, whisper to the GM? Uh, uh, it's, whisper uh, a w, roll? It's, uh, backslash WGM and then... The message. Yeah. Okay. Well... Who took it? Uh, give me a second. <laughs> okay. Doctor, I feel bad for you. I know you have lost your beloved belongings. I'm glad that thing's gone. <laughs> it does sound like she is a suspect, yes? <laughs> You just start asking everybody, hey, who took my blah blah blah? Who took my blah 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 blah? And uh, Jack said, I don't know. I, was, I wasn't looking. I was getting your ass out of there. Is that it? Ilda, what say you? That's none of your business, and I don't care. Alright, so, you look around, Jeremy, and you do see something, uh, shiny, sticking out of Seth's bag. Alright, well, I go and look at it. Alright. That's some big damn person I'm not even face. in the room. I'm not even in the room. How are you seeing this? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Matt. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, since you kind of gave it away, it yeah. Seth has it. Yeah. Okay. So, so where's Seth? Seth is in the next room. I go to the next room. <laughs> Seth, what would you like to do? Door's locked. I kick it open. <laughs> Make a strength check. <laughs> okay. Wait, that's the wrong one. Sorry. Yes, it is. <laughs> but you try to sneakily. Like uh, this, like, bounces straight off the top and then stops. You try to make a ste uh, sneaky attempt there. to kick down the door, and the. Uh, I said it was sneaky. Too bad. You rolled a stealth check first. I don't. So, wanna, I know. I too bad. One. Too bad. So you Not attempt. Bad. You go to attempt to kick down the door, and you get tackled by the innkeeper, who says, <laughs> "Hey, leave my shit alone. Get out of my." Fucking tavern. I'm not gonna leave. You. So, uh, make a wisdom save, Jeremy. You're a right, little <laughs> Is it possible to lend him my strength? Huh? May I lend him my strength? Seth, does it have do to mean? be that number, or does it have to be greater than that? It has to be greater. Okay. Oh, good. So, Jeremy, you take three points of psychic damage. Again, you feel a slight headache coming on as the words, You're a bitch. <laughs> Fuck you. Start echoing around in your head. Okay. But, um, regardless, the innkeeper pushes you out and he starts yelling get out of my fucking store get out kill him what is he do? yelling at Jeremy or at everyone Jeremy mm. and so uh, all the wisdom save? no that was for uh, Seth's spell that you didn't know happened however um, Jack says I'm sorry we'll leave right now I'm very sorry for the inconvenience, and starts dragging you out of the room, or out of the building. 
and apparently takes the rest of the fucking party with him. <laughs> he drags you out and says, What the hell are you doing? I put myself here so I'm not sitting on the word tavern. Yeah. Oh. Am I able to move my son? Oh, no. Oopsies. Sorry, I'm moving stuff around on my screen. You're still 100% fine. Yeah, okay. So. Did Jer Steph come outside too or no? No, but Jack is holding you and he says, What the hell are you doing? I'm waiting for Seth. Why? I want my food in. Why the fuck are you so obsessed with this goddamn thing? Because it's my creation. It's my baby. Just fucking leave it. Come on. I'm not gonna fucking leave this spot until Seth comes out. Well, we still have a mission to complete, and if you're not going to come with us, then we're going to do it without you. That's fine. All right. Jack calls back into the tavern. Ilda, Boris, let's go see what that shot was from before. I, I would love to, sir. However, I am unable to move. <laughs> huh? Hang on. Now you should be able to. Yes. There you go. There we are. Uh, all good? All good. Let's go. Doctor, are you not coming with? No. At least not? not yet. I'm waiting for my flu to win. Then I do suggest... Try to to follow. You can keep your distance and be pissed. <laughs> I'll be pissed from waiting here. You can be a baby all you want. Jack just okay. starts huffing towards the uh, slums, grumbling about Jeremy being an idiot. Alright, so I am going to... He's basically having a stakeout for you. I'm going to follow you guys. Okay, make a stealth check. Jeremy, Do make a perception Jeremy check. Ocean. Sorry, audience. Oh, excuse me, not plus 12, plus 8. So there's an extra 4 on top of what it adds. Because I have expertise in stealth. Okay. 23. Okay. Jeremy, make a perception check. <laughs> DC 23. I rolled a 3. Okay, boys, boys. congratulations. Oh, I, I thought I did. Nope. Congratulations. Uh, That's Jeremy, you are stealthy. still sitting there. You do not see anything. Seth, you managed to elude him and sneak out. Maybe there's like some sort of back door? Yeah, you sneak out of the back. Well, you, actually, you sneak out of a window from your room that was on the other side of the building from where Jeremy was waiting for you. Congratulations, you have eluded the idiot. a little bit. Okay. Uh, so. Oh, oh. Can I go upstairs? Uh, one more thing. Yes. Jeremy, did you take your three points of psychic damage, by the way? Oh my yeah. god. Make a DC have... 14 wisdom save. You, uh, you hear that from down the road. <laughs> a bitch. You're still a bitch. <laughs> what am I doing again? You have to roll to see if it you roll a wisdom which, save, hon. Huh? Wisdom? Okay. Wisdom roll save. Roll a wisdom save. I forgot which one it was. Fifteen. Made you it. do not take any damage. Just barely made it. <laughs> now, Seth, do you want the words to just be in his head, or do you want him to hear it from da coming down the street? You know what? Let's just me mess with him a little bit more. He can hear it in his head. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> congrats, Jeremy. You're a little bitch. You're a little bitch. Little, 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 little bitch. Now, Jeremy, do you want to follow the party or no? <laughs> no. I'm so I sorry. I pulled such a carpet on you. Fine. Then you're sitting in the uh, fucking. I go upstairs. Okay. The door is still locked, and the innkeeper yells at you again to get out of his establishment, or he's calling the guards. 
I plead to him to let me in. Make a... Let's see, what would this be? Uh, Do a persuasion, right? Yeah, go ahead and make a persuasion check. Uh, no, I'm probably not going to get this. Um, did I do it? No. Okay. Yeah, you I fail, it. and he <laughs> yells at you to get out, and this is your last warning, or he's calling the guards. Fine. Um, I just sit outside and wait. Okay. To come out. You're just going to sit outside the tavern then? Yeah. Okay. I wish. I was. I walk back to the doctor, not, and I would like to use persuasion on him to come with us. That's not how I was planning to. Have the session without him, but that works too. Okay. Wait, to have what? The session without him. Oh. Because <laughs> remember, he was saying, um, do the. Yeah. Start with him. without me. All right. Jack, may, may I use persuasion on the doctor? Go ahead. Although, you can't guarantee that you'll be able to persuade him to come with him, you can just try and make a persuasive argument. <clears throat> because this is Jeremy. Alright, for, first of all, I'm just gonna hit see if my number is bigger than 12, we should go. Hey! Hey! No. But no, hey, I'm just saying, this, this, is, this, is what's, this is between us, good friend. Go ahead and make your argument, Duncan. Try to persuade him in real life. Because this right, is Jeremy. a player character, so you can't just make him do stuff. Jeremy, Doctor. You gotta hear me. Look at me. Look at me. This is, this is important, man. We're going to go on an adventure, and we need you. Who knows? You, oh, oh, shit. <laughs> Who knows? You might find your flute while we're in combat, yes? If Seth has it, how would I find it in combat? That's 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 something I leave up to you to figure out. <laughs> Where the fuck is that logic? I walk off like a badass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Suddenly I'm worried that Jeremy is about to explode. Just because of the way you phrase your walking off. <laughs> <laughs> so Jeremy, you feel compelled to come with us. Do you follow that uh, compelling argument? Fine. I'll walk with you people. Bizarre. Wait for later, I guess. I'm gonna wave to you as you show up. I okay. So can I see Seth now? Um. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. Okay. I want to pull out my bow. Oh shit. <laughs> and I want to to load an arrow. Um, which one is it? Uh, where the fuck do my arrows go? Oh, right here. It seems to uh, be conflict within the group. Uh, splinter arrow with my compo. And okay. can I shoot him? Okay. In the chest? You can try. Make an attack roll. Okay. Uh, I probably missed. That hit. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> okay. And then the splinter arrow. Uh bleed for one D four one D four um two damage each turn. So can initial... I do something can I do something as a reaction? Sure. Can I pull out the flute in and use it to block the arrow? <clears throat> uh, <laughs> go ahead and make a dexterity save. <laughs> Swear to God. Alright, and then plus the 1d4. <laughs> Actually, Jeremy, no. Why not? Because 
he succeeds, and your arrow strikes your flutalit right in the center. And Get the flutal in. As the arrow shatters, it shreds the strings one by one and destroys the instrument. I load another arrow <laughs> and I shoot him again. Alright, for my turn. When it's my hang turn. Hang on, hang on. Let's go ahead and roll initiative. <laughs> because apparently we need to now. <laughs> I would like to get out of the middle of the conference here. I'm sorry, this just made Wait, who's running me... initiative? Everyone. Fuck. Okay, hold on. Oda, I would not be standing there. <laughs> That's probably a good idea. I'm gonna go here, get out of the yeah. way. Yeah, I was going to say, it's not very safe between this, but I'm it's sorry, a good show. My, uh, my browser's being stupid, I can't open my freaking sheet. Yeah, mine's being weird because yeah, it wants me to decide all the times to critically succeed. There we go. Well. Fuck, really? Oh, I need to do initiative, yes? Uh, yes. Okay. And you need to click on, remember guys, you need to um, click on your theoretically, tokens. Theoretically, Jeremy would go first. No, Seth would go first, because she, she rolled a higher base number. Right. So it'd be Seth and Jeremy. Jack had a five. Uh, Boreas. Um. I'll just do this. Hang on, give me a second, audience. Fixing, fixing, fixing. We're fighting each other. Why? <laughs> well, I'm not fighting you guys. I'm just fighting Seth. Yes, you so, are. You can attack me, but I'm going to hit you. Uh, and I'm gonna fight to the death, by the Boris, way. Boris, you rolled a 21 as well. Yeah, so but the thing is, I Seth die. rolled a higher base number. It's right. all good. If you look at the plus, if you look at the plus numbers. Right. So Seth would go before. Uh, before Jeremy. Before Jeremy, but. Uh, Boris and Seth go ahead and roll have a to d20. I have to do a roll out. Right, do a d20, just a flat d20. His oh, all. Starts first. All right. <laughs> all right. So, I'll just start with the base initiative. So, Boris, you're up first. All right. Well, uh, I know this is going to get really, really. And I don't want it to be, but I'm I'm gonna have to I'm I'm going to be using my aid. Okay. On, on Jeremy there, just just to make sure he doesn't get fucking one shot. I'm sorry, man, but I just don't believe in your life. I had a heal you last time. <laughs> okay, so that adds an extra five hit points to Jeremy. Jeremy, go ahead and add that. Okay. Next up is Seth. I am going to cast Invisibility. Okay. And I have deducted that from my spell slots. Okay. And um, I am going to frickin' book it into the slums. Okay. And Invisibility does... She is just disappearing. Uh, so, as far as you can tell, Jeremy, Seth just disappears. Well, I ready another splinter arrow, in case he's still in the area. Okay. And I'm looking around to see if I see shit. 
Alright, this is a great way to start out the fucking episode. By attacking each other. <laughs> I want to point out that only one person attacked anyone here. Yep. I know. But I can't just say stop it, because that would be metagame. So, Seth went, then Jeremy went, next is Jack, he's going to charge, um, 15, 20, 25, 30, he's going to tackle uh, Jeremy to the ground and say, what the hell are you doing, stop it. Next is Ilda. Ilda, I, I, I would, I would hide. Does Jeremy take damage from being tackled? Um, it's not a specific attack, but okay. Let's try. Just gets a bruise on his bum. <laughs> What's your AC, Jeremy? Um, one second, uh, 14. Okay, so that hits. You are knocked prone and you take four points of damage. Okay, okay. Can I dodge it? I'm sorry, I just realized I was muted. It's okay. Oh. Okay. So thanks for skipping me without asking. I didn't. Well, it's yeah, 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 still a. Uh, still your turn, yes. Jack just went. Yeah. I thought I was. Okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. Everything's just. Nah. Okay. <sighs> I, just in case, I want to just launch Blade Ward because. I, in case one of like a spare arrow or a sword gets. Hey, I don't get hurt. Okay, and what does that do? <laughs> hmm? Okay. And I'm assuming you cast it on yourself? Yes. Okay. Just because I normally end up getting hit with a stray arrow or something. Okay, fair point. That was your turn. Boris, it's your turn. Unless... By the way, if anybody wants to speak or anything, it's a free action. So you can do it whenever. Fantastic. All right. So I would like I would like to say this real quick, uh, just so everyone knows. Um, we're burning through a lot of spells already, and we haven't we haven't gone on the mighty quest to go figure out what the hell had spooked us. Oh, no for me that this. was a cantrip. I can cast it whenever I want. Yeah. Well, sadly, I used a spell. Yeah. Yeah. So did Seth. I only used a spell because I was at the pointy end of a freaking. Yes, but Seth has a reason. Yep. All right, so I, I would I would definitely like to uh, just ignore this mess and start heading towards where we originally were, if possible. Yep. Jack says, either go cool off or just get the hell out of here. We don't need this kind of drama right now. We told the man before he died that we would help him. And I intend on keeping my word. And then, yeah. So, Seth, I'm assuming you don't really want to do anything since you're in the slums? Yeah. Okay. Because I know that's where we were headed, so. But. Jeremy, it's your turn. What would you like to do? Are you still on top of me? No. <laughs> okay. Well, I get up. And I just walk away without saying anything. Okay. Fine. Sulk, sulk, sulk. Jack turn. He moves back and starts heading. Oopsies. <laughs> <laughs> he elongates across the screen. <laughs> he starts, I just realized that our, my fucking turn counter was right on top of the audience, audience's view the entire time. Sorry, audience. But, um. Jack, for the audience to know, um, Jeremy just ran off over this way. 
And um, Jack is moving to catch up with Boreas into the slums. Yildo, what would you like to do? I'm gonna follow you guys. I'm gonna follow you guys, but I'm not gonna drop my invisibility. Okay. Like, I'm just gonna, like, say, hey, I'm right here. Okay. Invisible. You really shouldn't have taken the damn thing. Jack grumbles. <laughs> Honestly, I'm okay with the fact that he's just walking away, with, away like a child. I'd rather him do that than play that fucking flute in every five seconds. It, yes and no. We do need another body for people to shoot at. Yes, but we don't need him trying to play a flute like a uh, trying to play a violin like a flute. So the rest of the group returns to the slums, and I'm just resetting the tokens. Now I move the audience back to the slums, and now I have to move the audience's view back. Uh, we're all the way down here. Okay. Uh, everybody all set? Mm -hmm. So. All right. Yes, sir. That's fine. Where we are. Why are you still, Orius? Why are you still hurt? Hmm. Because I, I, I never, unless the, the sleeping healed me. Yes, it did. Yeah, it, it did. Yes, I am heals you. I'm going to be healed. Yeah. yeah. You get all yes. your spells back, you get all your abilities back, you get everything back. So, your um, lay on hands, your spell slots. Let's see here. You, used, you expended one second level spell slot to cast aid. Yep, I already it. dropped that one down, yes. All right, and then uh, I'm just trying to find my health. Thirty-four, yes. Divine sense put back up. Channel divinity is at one already. Lay on hands is back up. Okay, so all that's reset. All right, and that's for everybody too. So any spells, any stuff like that, you can reset it. Just reset it now. So that's all set. So, you've returned to the slums. What would you like to do? Is it possible that I could lead us towards uh, where we last were, yes? Yes, and Jack will go ahead and follow you. Fantastic. We need to figure out what that nuisance was, though. Yeah. That was a really weird sound. So, don't know Especially that it happened right under me is uh, quite concerning. Yeah. I look behind myself to see my team falling behind. Seth, are you coming? You cannot see it. Right. So go ahead so and form a new march. That's why I asked. If I can't see her, I don't know where she is. You what? guys just you guys just hear Mad giggling, floating around you. This place seems haunted. <laughs> Occasionally plucking the strings of a very sad shredded violin. Well, the strings are all snapped. They're disconnected. So Yeah, I know. Can't really play it. It can work. <laughs> That's why Jeremy thinks it's a flute. Oh. Wrong. Oh. Uh. So, you see people recognizing you from your previous actions the day before. Understood, Jeremy. Um, everybody go ahead and make perception checks. Oh, 
sorry, sorry, audience, I just realized I really should just zoom this out some more. So. Seth, you're just getting good rolls tonight. I know, it's awesome. Like the one night I really needed it. Yep, no kidding. Alright, so, Seth, you noticed this. Uh, Boris still waiting on the check from you. I, I thought I did. He did roll. Yes. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure I don't. I am sadly not very observant. Okay. Jeremy, go ahead and make a stealth roll. Okay, oh, never mind. None of you guys notice this. Moving on. I wonder what it might be. I know, right? <laughs> reminder that reminder that I'm invisible. You guys are good at not meta gaming, right? <laughs> Maybe. I don't understand what's meta gaming. Good. Okay. So hang on, you guys here. Um, as you walk through these tents, people are like, Thanks again for taking care of that issue yesterday. It was really getting no. bad, you know? They were everywhere. No worries, my fair maiden. Hopefully it's a maiden. <laughs> He's a guy says, Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I, I walk away. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I walk away. Give me a second. I keep trying to change the player color and it's not working. Yeah, I'm honestly not sure how to do it at this point. Because, I mean, if you click on the color box, it should allow you to change it. It's not opening. I might have to open it in a different browser. Okay. I don't know. Then. But, um, Jeremy, you're... <laughs> is where we started. So, do you see it? Say it one more mm -hmm. time. Talking to Jeremy. Hmm, okay. Then I am not paying attention. I was going to say, we are on hearing. Yeah, I hear it. Or see it. Okay. I look around to see <laughs> that my teammates are nowhere in sight. I begin right. to worry. We're coming, we're coming. <laughs> I take off in a mad sprint. <laughs> Stop. Bless you. Oh my god, he just went in. Some people call me Leroy. There <laughs> again! I do believe the nuisance came around here, yes? Uh. Almost. Uh. Yeah, you're getting there. Do you want to do anything to announce your presence? <laughs> I, I do believe I see- I, I do- <laughs> <sighs> Hey, I'm back. Right, um, what, did you ask me something? Just a few more feet, friends. Okay. Hang on, I just measured something and now I don't remember. But... It was one block off. Can you guys see the measurement? Yes, yes, yes I can. Okay. Well, shit. Like I said, that's not ominous at all. <laughs> don't see it. <laughs> hmm? The Ilva has the right idea. Uh, you just hear like a, a loud groan of anger. 
somewhere over in this direction. Would you like to go in first? <laughs> it's Ilda. pretty far away, but yeah. Hang on, Ilda is having some technical difficulties. Um. I think I fixed it. Okay. Okay, good to go. <laughs> Literally, it was just about the color thing, because the colors are too similar. Okay. I'm sorry. It's that was okay. bugging me. It's okay, I understand. It's just difficult that I have two screens that I have to control at once, and make sure nothing That's okay, I, I can control my character now. No, I don't mean you, I mean me, with my setup. Mm. But, um... I wish I had more tokens, but... So... As you guys are walking up, you see a woman with her clothes half ripped off, running oh, away boy. from here, screaming and crying about something. I rush to her aid. Okay. She yeah, tells I'm running you with you. Some vicious monster was trying to rape her, and asks for your assistance. Do do we see the monster currently? Nope. And Jack's elongating again. Is it possible for me to possibly talk to her? Uh... Or is she too scared to she's, speak? She's pretty worked up, so... Fair it's enough. Difficult. She just keeps saying over and over again that it was a disgusting monster. Friends, we must go away. vanquish this foe. Alright. Jack is right behind you and ready to follow. I'm coming with you. You're leading the charge, Yelda. I believe in you. So, she says that he was somewhere up over there. For those who can see it. For those who can't, I believe. Right. I'm charging as fast as I possibly can towards the nuisance. Sorry. Mm, my computer thing weird. Um, Before we get closer, I would like to uh, make sure that my team is ready to engage. Alright, well, as you turn to do that, you hear another... That wasn't as impressive. And something pings across the ground right next to you. Oh god dang. I, 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 I take one of my daggers under my jacket, by the way. Whoever you are, get the hell out of here before I blow your goddamn heads off. Your angry voice Is he yell. In the tent or there. at the door? Huh? Um, you don't really see him, to be honest. I just felt like getting him out now. But, yeah. You okay. hear him yell from inside of the hut. Inside of this hut, yes? Yes. Uh, no. No. This one. You can actually see him if you look closely. I do. So, how do you respond? I wish to pull out my way, and uh, let me make sure that I have the distance. Touch it here. Alright. I see him. My distance on this lovely beast. I don't remember who is who at this point. Like, I'm trying to remember who has what, and I don't remember. Okay, so they have that. And then the guys that are in the back. Okay. 60 foot. Nice. Oh. I would like to pull out, uh. Right, that is 60 foot. I want to make sure before I fucking do it. Okay, sweet, yes. Okay. I would like to pull out my javelin and uh, make a uh, throw towards... As you go feet. to draw that, you hear, God damn it! Oh. But then you also hear... Oh, fuck. Right. So you also see an arrow whiz by your face and almost strike you in the cheek. Oh, and Jesus Christ, I swear to God, if this is Jeremy. At this <laughs> point... 
Everybody go ahead and roll initiative. Make sure you select your token before you roll. As um, two more fig uh, three more figures emerge from the tents around this mysterious foe. Finally, oh, hey, not a bad roll this time. Thank oh, you. Oh, hey, there we go. That's more <laughs> like You guys fucking traded. <laughs> we have a crit reg, a crit neg. Just rolling all the crits tonight. Okay, so. All the crits are happening at once. Order now is boys. Uh, then Ilda with 18. Uh, Seth with a 3. Ilda, you had an 18. And Jack had a. Jack had 10, and Jeremy, I'm still waiting on one from you. Okay. Two crits! Does this mean they have to do a rollout? Uh, they both no, got a crit one. They had different numbers. No, they they, they had the same base number. Oh, uh, then... They both rolled a crit one. I'm trying to remember how this is supposed to work. They came out with with different totals, so no, they don't. Jeremy will go and then Seth. Okay. Now I need to roll for the six people that you guys aren't controlling, so... Wait, six? Well... Six is a uh, hyperbole. Okay. I just mean I have to do a lot of rolling. Oh, fuck. I'm just gonna get all fucking jacks. Fifteen. So that'll put him right there. Other one. So five. That will put him right there. Other other one. There's a 12, so that will put him there, and finally, sorry audience, there's a lot of shit to do. It's a 17. The slumlord suddenly turned into Slenderman on the uh, tracker. Huh? <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> All right, so now that we've gone through that whole shit stain, everybody could start moving in initiative. So, boys, you're the first to react. What do you want to do? And uh, what what am I currently seeing? So you see, uh, God, there's no good way to set this all up. There really isn't. <sighs> all right, give me a second. Give me a second. I'm just going to minimize this on the audience screen because the audience doesn't need to see it. Alright, and then move them over here. <laughs> so, you see... 
Um, right now you can see the three henchmen and you can hear somebody else loud in the hut. So. What do so I everyone can see so, that, right? Yeah. So, so you I know. I see the gentleman. Uh, no, you can't see the this guy. Hang on, I'll just hide him so you. Yeah. Okay. So, you okay. can see what is there now. Okay, perfect, perfect. All right. Uh, I would like to uh, use my javelin uh, to uh, attack the farthest person away from me. All right. And what's Which... the range on the javelin again? Uh, the javelin is a. Uh, let me tell you in two quick seconds. Sorry about that. So One good. Mississippi. Two Mississippi. All right. Uh, range is thirty. He one twenty. I think so. Forty. All right. Pretty pretty okay. sure. So just so you know, for future reference, the way that works is the smaller range is normal range, and then the larger range number is with disadvantage. With disadvantage. So. Disadvantage. Okay. Fantastic. Sorry. However, since it's within the 30 feet. Alright. Oh, does it put me out of event? It doesn't matter. No. It's fine. So, um, that is a hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. Alrighty. He takes it in the shoulder, but then just rips it out and throws it on the ground with a grunt. And, uh, uh. like, it, it, you fucked him up, but he's still kicking. So. Alright. I have no good angles right at the moment. Nope. Next is Ilda. Again, I have no good angles right at the moment. Right. Um, so, you can move 30 feet and still take an action. Or 25 feet, actually. And still take an action. Mm. Or you can move 50 feet, and that's the end of your turn. So... The option at this point is yours. Hmm. Ugh, sorry audience, in case you can't tell, oh, well I guess you can't tell because it's not visible. Uh, it's pretty fucking late right now when we're recording. Because we always record very late. Because we're because stupid. Because we're idiots. <laughs> exactly. We are stupid. Which is why we're divas and dumbasses. Yep. Divas being the aforementioned temper tantrum by a certain wood elf. You never thought that he would be the diva. I did. Anyways, so Hilda. Turn. Me is um, okay, so I want to try this one more time, but I'm not going to cast it on myself. Go ahead. I'm going to be casting Blade Ward onto... after me? It's one of the bandits, uh, right? Yes, but you would not know that, so. Sorry. It's okay. I see the turn order and I'm sorry. It's all good. Um, you can minimize it just like you can with the character sheets, if that helps. That's uh, true. Okay. But I do want to cast Blade Ward on Jack. Okay. And so what Blade Ward does is, um, is I'm going to do my somatic thing, which is I'm, I'm going to trace my little vigil, right. my little sign, and um, I can, it, it's supposed to say cast on self, but I don't know if I can cast it on people? I think, uh, I think technically you can, I think you have to touch them, so you'll want to move up, but yes, I believe you can, and audience hate me, I don't care, I'll add you to the list, but um. I mean, you're not too far, though. Jack's not too far. Right. So. Okay, well, I'm gonna. Okay, so I'll stand. Mm. I'll stand next to you, and that's only like five feet anyway. Yeah. Sorry, audience, for her uh, audio getting a little choppy. We are running this over Skype. And call, then I. So. Yeah. Um, I didn't know that my thing was being choppy. My bad. It's all good. Uh, so until the end of your next turn. Yep. Well, the end of the round. So when it gets back to you again. 
Yeah, so until it gets back to me again, Jack, you are protected from bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing to uh, damage that is dealt by any weapon. Resistant, but yes. Okay. Oh, next up Ignore is... Ignore the range on this one. Yep. Ignore the range, people. Yep. Or the range and target, because um, the book didn't give us any range or target to use. Right. So, next up is not known, but, uh, hear another loud crack, and, um, let's see, yeah, we will go for you. So, uh, Boreas, do you feel something hard hit your, me hit your armor? And, uh, you take... Ten points of damage from oh, a uh, solid metal musket ball, basically, slamming into your arm. Okay, so that put me at 20. Yeah. Fun fact for all you guys, just so you know for future reference, if you click on your token, the three little orbs will pop up above it. You can click on that and type in a number and then press enter. So like plus seven, minus ten, and then press enter, oh, you and mean it'll with the colored buttons. Yeah, it'll affect it for you. So just so you know. He's lucky he ain't knocked to the ground and completely winded. Yeah. All right. Next up is one of the guys, and uh, he's going to move. Let's see. Oh, so he's going to go ahead and move up. So 5, 10, 15, 20. And attack with his scimitar. Scimitar. I know. The sea is silent. I know. But, um, I need... Let's just go with the 10. Uh, he swings the Borealis. Uh, Borealis. Been watching too much fucking heroes and habits. Boreas, and uh, it chinks off your armor, but it doesn't seem to hurt you too much right now. And then the other one will follow suit. And um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 25. He's going to uh, try. He's going to move up to there and uh, get ready to do something. So, that's his turn. Get my mouse going. There it is. Alright, next up is Jack. He sees this little shit trying to do something sneaky. Takes a step up and will attack him with his great axe. Somebody is tippity typing very loudly. So that is a hit for 13 points of damage. So Jack swings with a roar. Wait, is this on me? No, this is Jack attacking the bandit that's below him. Oh, fabulous. So he, gonna say. Yeah, Jack roars very loudly and swings with his great axe and chops the guy's head off. Uh, I'm okay with that. So he crumples to the ground and dies. Blood splurting on the ground. What a fabulous sight. Alright. Next up is the mysterious hidden wood elf that's not there but's there. <laughs> I wonder who that could be. I forgot to roll for one of them. God damn it. Okay, so this, just adding this into the initiative now because I forgot to. This guy will move up some does he even have a ranged weapon? I don't remember. Where is his token, anyway? Who? Jeremy. Oh. I mean, I'm freaking invisible, and I still have my token around here. Yeah. I have no idea where Jeremy's token is. Oh, he's over there. Okay, he's over there. That's one heck of an arrow shot. Well, he's Ow. not doing anything right now. But, um... 
this guy, let's see how far he is. Alright, he's going to take a shot at Ilda with his light crossbow. Fucking kidding me. Yeah, they're kind of assholes in case you haven't noticed. Where's his character sheet? Alright, so he fires but misses wildly. Where does it say that? I'm not seeing that roll. Oh, it's um, it's the way I have the tokens set up. Is uh, all the rolls are whispered to the DM. Oh, so we don't know? Yeah. You guys won't see the enemy rolls. But uh, next up is Jeremy. So Jeremy, you're good. Let's see. Probably 120 meters away. So if you want to start moving up, go right the fuck ahead. But, ah, fuck. I mean, <clears throat> I don't need to. My range is 600 feet. Alright, sure. Measure it out. See how far you are. See if you're close enough. Well, I can't actually get to you people on the map. Doctor, would you be able to take this person out who's right next to me? Okay. Oh, wait. Yeah, I can. Yeah. I'd appreciate getting this person away from my breathing area. <laughs> that fucking bow is crazy. I think I get a fucking shot. I was gonna say you could be a sniper, man. Just stay that far back all the time. Yeah. Also, you have disadvantage on this, just because that's really OP. What <laughs> really disadvantage? Because but how it's in the range of the weapon. And I literally made my character for this I know. thing. Fine. Well, it's because that's how the weapon works, sadly. Just do it. Fuck it. Like, I literally... I know. I Go ahead. Roll. It. Go. Just don't miss. I gotta get all the stuff set up again. Alright. Um. I'll shoot whatever thing is closest to me. Alright, so that would be this guy. Okay, audience can still see. Save me, Doctor. <laughs> is that the guy that's in front of, um... Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, shit. So okay. Well, never mind. So that's a fucking whiff. You fire, and uh, it arcs up in the air, and nearly clips Boreas in the in the back of the neck. So oh, Boreas, shit. all you feel is just an arrow whiz right by your neck and stick it to the ground in front of you. I'm gonna ask if I could use an action to make sure to use my mage hand to squat at it, but yeah. So I, I won't lie. It, it, the adrenaline is definitely going. If it doesn't affect okay. him at all, then I'm not going to do it. So next up is Seth. Alright. Sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna sneak right up to here. Okay. And press myself right up against the outside of this, uh... Right, so, how far is that? About 10 feet. Alright, and, um, go ahead and make a stealth check. Alright, and I have another plus 4 to that. Okay, so you stealthily navigate yourself over there. Alright, and is, what else do I want to do to kind of... Mm. Bless you. Mm. I am tired. It was dawning. But... Oh. And 
and I am going to cast True Strike on this one dude right next to the hut that I can see. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sounds good. Alrighty. And we're back to the top. Next up is Boreas. Alright, fantastic. Um, so, I'm guessing uh, this person t next to me has taken absolutely zero damage. No offense to you, Doctor, but... Uh, I, I will keep shooting at the range. Hopefully, you'll get better. Yeah. That is uh, correct. Let's, let's see here. I would like to uh, pull out my uh, my long sword. Okay. And that puts me at normal. Yes. Mm hmm. Okay. So, do you want to attack with one hand or two? You want to put two. your shield down and you want to attack with one hand? I'm going to put my shield down and just go full blown attack on this guy. Okay. So, that is a hit. Go ahead and roll 1d10 plus whatever the normal amount is. Uh, plus 4. So, 10 points of damage. You hack at him and. Uh, you clearly do harm him quite a bit. He's still pissed and still ready to fight back. So next up is Ilda. Um. All right. I'm gonna measure something real quick. Alright, so I'm actually gonna kind of curve around here. Okay. To right here. Okay. Close combat, it's easy to work with. Right. Not as much of a pain in the ass. And now all three of us, or well, at least um, Boris and Ilda, are both flanking with each other. Okay, so we would roll advantage? Yes, that is correct. I am tired. Fucking hell. Well, wait. Oh, okay. I, just some weird things in the ground. So. I am going to use my rapier. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to try to swipe, uh, swipe that in. Okay. Make your attack roll. Alright. You swipe and he narrowly, like, inches to the side in a cartoon esque manner and dodges it. But, uh, I yeah. probably shouldn't have swords that are bigger than me. Yeah. It's all good. So, I mean, there is that. You hear another crack. And there we go, there we go. Uh, he definitely fucking hits. Um, so he fires a shot at Ilda. And... Does a whopping 10 points of damage to you. You feel another, um, you feel a metal ball basically rip into your shoulder and oh. lodge itself in there. Jeez. So. All of a sudden, now when I click on my character, the little doodads don't come up. Oh, oh. there it goes. Yeah. It'll do that. You said minus 10? Yes. So you type in minus 10 and then press I enter. I did. Okay. Alrighty. See? Isn't that easier? Alright. Next up is the guy in front of us. He's going to take a swipe at Jack, since Jack is the only one who hasn't been hit by these evil metal balls. Uh, I have to turn off fucking advantage. I keep forgetting to do that. But, uh, he hits Jack, and does seven points of damage. Let's toggle. Normal. 
Okay. Does seven points of damage to Jack. Growls angrily as he takes a scimitar slash across his arm. And then the other guy will take another shot with his crossbow at Boreas. And that is a hit. So Boreas takes another four points of damage. From an arrow lodging itself in his arm. Ugh. Upper arm. Alright. And next is Jack. Jack's gonna get... Gonna growl again and swing once again with his great axe. At the jackass standing in front of him. And misses. Just a little bit. Which just pisses him off even more. But regardless. He missed. Next is little Jeremy. Doctor, do not fail me. <laughs> doctor, doctor, doctor. I, 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 I shoot the same one that I tried to before. I have high hopes. Alright. Alright, that's a hit. Go ahead and roll oh your damage. God. Finally. Mm, huzzah! There you go. You kill the fuck out of him. Like, basically you hit him and, uh, it strikes him in the eye and you see it poke out of the back of his skull. So. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> and he crumbles to the ground. I gotta keep Thank track you, of where those guys were, though, damn it. Give me a second. Quick. Battlefield. Pause. Oh, shit. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> I'm about to get jumped. <laughs> no, you're not. No, you're not. I'm just marking where the bodies were. Let's see, there's one there. Alright. So it's dead. Next is Seth. Seth, 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 Seth. I'm gonna cast, um, what was it called again? True Strike on the same guy just to keep it maintained. I'm gonna hang off. I'm gonna, you know, lay low for a second. Okay. Wait till the right moment. Okay. So the next is. Back to Boreas again. Alright, let's see here. So I'm able to move how many feet? Uh, you can move 30 feet. Well, fantastic. I'm, I'm going to... I feel like these measurements are probably off. Yeah, heck, I, I trust them. Uh, yeah. I'm going, I'm definitely going to rush up and around uh, this tent here, and I'm going to rush this uh, guy okay. right outside of this tent. Alright, so you move up to there, and I'll just say that takes your full action, your full speed. Uh, you can make an action if you want. If. So you can attack if you want, you can heal, you can. whatever, but yeah. So I'm not able to attack? No, you are, you are. I was, I was thinking through stuff, my bad. No, it's all good. Uh, since I'm still uh, rocking my long sword, I'm. Plan on swinging that big motherfucker at him. This right. box is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Two hands again? Yes. Alright, so I'm just gonna say, you dropped your uh, shield back here. So. Yep. I'll, I'll come back to pick it up at the end of the fight. Okay, so. I'm just marking that down so I can remember it. Remind me to put it back up later because I will forget. But, uh, yeah, go ahead and then roll 1d10 plus. What did we say it was? Five? I forget. Uh, 1d10, 1d10 plus four. Four, okay, well then technically that would be 13. Okay, so... 
with that, you run this guy through, and he dies. Fabulous. Feel the wrath of my blade. He just goes... Oh. Oh. Everything's going really well. Yep. And, uh, at that point... You fucking jinxed you just it. You see this, uh, six-foot-five guy come storming oh, out of the tent. Jesus. And, uh... He yells angrily. I'm trying to see, does he have an actual melee? He does not. So basically, I'm just going to do this essentially for dramatic purposes, but he shoves a metal tube that's about oh, probably, crap. say probably about a foot long. He takes it and he presses it against your chest and you got a click and you just feel a metal ball grip through your right shoulder. Uh, through my shoulder. What are you doing? So, you take... Take six points of damage. That's it? Yeah. Surprisingly. But you can feel, like, the hot gas emitting from the tube. Feel the thing rip out of your back, rip into the ground behind you. Uh, yeah. So yeah. All right. I'll just say that was his turn as a reaction. Ilda, it's now your turn. All right. Um. You may, this is meta, but I'll just say, you may want to take a step back. Me? No, um, Boreas. <clears throat> Let's just say Jack was saying that. You may want to take a step back when you get a chance. Not right now, but when you get a chance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Boreas, you might want to step out of the way. I, I would love to, madam. However, I am currently exhausted. Get shot. <laughs> yeah. Shot through the shoulder, and you're in pain. <laughs> you give crime a bad oh, man, name. Ow! <laughs> and then everybody just hears like a badass music. <laughs> Suddenly there's a guitar riff in the background. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, Jack, if I use my dagger as throwing, do I have to take it as disadvantage? I believe so. I don't know what the range on that is. It's 20 feet throwing range. It's 20 by 60, right? And 60's with disadvantage, but I, but he's within throwing range from where I'm standing. Okay. Uh, yeah. I don't so I'm gonna advantage. move up, I think. Okay. Just to be safe. Yeah. yeah. Now he's within half the throwing range, yeah. so I don't think I need yeah. disadvantage, right? Correct. Okay. So I'm going to throw a dagger at him. Alright. Try to make your attack roll, and let's hope you don't hit Boris. Oh god. Oh, right, I'm sorry. So... Hold on. I, I gotta roll normal. It's all but... good. I'll just take it. Either way, with either of those rolls, you still wouldn't hit. So oh, I'll with say... either of them it's gonna hit? Yeah. Oh, I didn't notice that it actually put in the chat. I'm sorry. So I it's a narrow miss, but it is. Yeah, it's a very narrow miss, but it is still a miss. So. Yeah. Wait, it doesn't hit or it does? I can't hear. Does not. Yeah, all I can hear is somebody typing frantically. What is that? Probably Jeremy. Yeah, it's definitely Jeremy because his icon pops up whenever I hear it. Yeah. He's writing a book. Oh my gosh. He's I writing down our tales of adventure. I write books, and even I'm not that loud. Anyways. 
It does not hit, Ilda. So, <gasps> Great, now I have a... Do it, do it. Next is Jack. Jack's going to... Does it to... just, like, go into the tent wall or something? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Jack's going to try and move up. And uh, I don't think he can reach all the way up there in one action. But, uh, he's going to throw a javelin at the person and misses so it basically follows the same line as the dagger <laughs> but um yeah so next i is... look back to you both and ask have you been drinking before we went on this adventure to deal with jeremy yes jeremy's turn Hey, Mr. Tippity type, Jeremy. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm doing the thing. Okay. All right, I wanna, I'll move here, and then. Okay. Get none of us can see there. where here is, by the way. Okay, not see my token. I can yeah. now once I move, but yeah. What is that squeaking noise? And then I'll attack the uh, oh, the nerve. dude or whatever. Okay. Shot. Alrighty, go ahead and roll your damage. <laughs> what are we at? Where are we at? Doctor, that's like having girth but not knowing what to do with it. I almost <laughs> gave myself a heart attack for half a second because I thought we weren't recording. Okay. Um, I want to keep going, but I'm really fucking tired. Um, all right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. So next is Seth. All right, I am going to drop a thunder wave. Okay. All right, so he has to make a. Constitution save. Make a crap roll, make a crap roll, make a crap roll, come on. Nope, he makes it. Dang on it. Got him while you damage So he down. takes half damage, which is seven, I think. Okay. Uh, six, because it's half rounded down. Ah, okay. Every little bit helped out. And what else? Okay, oh, and the uh, the tent is leveled. Okay. That is the shittiest drawing ever. Our thing, it, we are just like sucking tonight. Yeah. Except when we fight each other, then apparently we're freaking amazing. <laughs> yeah. And then there's me, I tried not to fight. Pretty much, yeah. We're all just kind of fucked. But, regardless. Oh, right. Oh. Next is, it? is Boreas. Fantastic! I would like to take another swing. All right, go ahead. That's not a surprise. Hey, hey, hey! Now a hit, go ahead and roll your damage. Oh my gosh, he actually was that a twenty? No. No, it's plus it's seven. Close though. So it's an eighteen. Okay. Okay, so what I'm doing a slash roll. D10. Well, if you click on longsword, then it'll roll your damage for- Uh, yeah. D10 plus 4, my bad. If, so just click on the sword? Uh, no. Because that'll be your D8. So, never mind. Go ahead and roll. D10 plus 4. Oh, 
Oh, Jesus. All right, so that's another seven points of damage. Five, seven. Okay. Next is Ildi, Ildi, Ildi. Oi, oi, oi. Okay. Um, I'm getting, I'm getting quite tired of all of us missing. <laughs> I'm like not doing shit. You're, not, you're like, you know what? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Sorry. Bless so, you. I know I, I, I kind of get a little trigger happy with this one, but you know what? We kind of need it right at the moment. Yeah. Nothing to be ashamed of with being trigger happy, unless you're Jeremy. <laughs> so, I'm going to launch Magic Missile. Magic Missile! Because this guy is getting fucking annoying. Alright, go ahead and roll. And they're going to target him with all three? Yes. Okay. Jeez. Let's go. Nice. So, that is... That's okay. a good roll. Yep. For once. So that was 10 points of damage to him. He is really getting pissed off. So he's gonna... It's his turn now. Gonna go ahead and fire another shot at Ilba. Let's say, fuck you! And I'm pretty sure he misses. Let's see. Uh, what yes, is he does. The, what was the number? He missed. Oh, okay. don't worry. Even if he hit, she could still tank it. Yeah. Fucking dwarf constitution Frickin shit. Rogue with her ridiculous yeah. 50 HP. Alright, so. The bullet whizzes past your ear and uh, cracks into the ground behind you. My claps are getting less and less impressive. It's but, like little poppers. Yeah. Jack's going to get a go ahead and move up and flank with uh uh Boreas. Yes. Uh, spaced out for a second, but uh, he's going to swing with his great axe, and I'm pretty sure misses. Yep, miss. I look so at like him directly in the eyes and call him a bitch. The guy barely That's ducks my anyone. job. Alright, so... Next is Jeremy. Alright. So, um, should I roll to see if I hit him before I use, like, a magic, a magic spell or whatever? Or should I do that first? What? I'm not use one of my spells. Should I do that before do I roll to first. see if I hit him or not, or after? Do that first. Use the spell first. Okay. Then I use the spell. Um. And then I'm gonna roll. Which spell is it? Um. The hail of thorns. Okay. Go ahead and click on hail of thorns so I can see what it does. Cause I don't remember. Yeah. Um, how close are they to it? What do you mean? How close is everyone? To... Uh, we are within five feet of it. Okay, well then, um, never mind. <laughs> <I'll> use... <laughs> nope, nope, you said you were going to use it. This it's is what late, happens. <laughs> Damn it, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, then I use that. Um... <laughs> I'm sorry to everyone who's... All three of us. Yep. <laughs> Damn it. This is when you're going to get, like, 20 damage. All right. <laughs> Fucking shit. Yep. Okay. So and everybody then... Make... I'm so... <coughs> sorry. Everybody make dexterity saving throws. Oh, fuck. 23. Yeah, so I definitely hit your assholes. Um... I'm good. I hate my life. Okay. So I'll say, because I'm nice, that um, Jack and Boreas, since we made the save, right? What's the DC on it? For what? Oh, oh yeah, spell. Um, one second. 
on your spells tab where it says spell yeah. save DC. Where does it? What does it say? Twelve. It's Twelve. Okay. So I'm literally the only one who didn't. Thank on it. Well, let me check and see if the guy made it. Wow, my my life just absolutely uh, got shat on. He made it. I hate you all. Yeah. So he I'm takes sorry. half damage. How much damage do I take? Uh. Let's see. Roll. Uh, uh, yeah. Go ahead and roll a d10, Jeremy. I hate you. Am I am I dying? No. Like. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, I have no life right now for some reason. I was at 20, now I'm, now I'm at zero. Oh god. <laughs> that was glorious. <laughs> like, shit, dude. What were you actually at, Duncan? I was at 20. Okay. Must have accidentally deleted it. Okay, uh, oh, thank god. <laughs> There's that green bar. Okay, good. Okay. So, Jeremy, roll your d10. Okay. So he takes 11 points from the bow. And then another 8. So he takes 19 points of damage. It does kill him. Oh. He, uh... Basically, the way the spell works, Jeremy fires the arrow up into the air, and as it's flying towards his target, a bunch of little thorns basically sprout out like a fragmentation mine, or fragmentation grenade, from the arrow, and rain down and skewer him, just perforate him all the way through. And, um, some of them also clip Seth. Seth takes eight points of damage. Wait, eight? Yeah. Oh, okay, I thought it was eighteen. Okay, that's a little bit better. Alrighty, and the slum lord falls. Alright, since it's my turn next, I'm immediately going to try and take that thing he was shooting people with. Okay. And anything else I can find that might be related to it. Okay, so you find uh First off, you make, a, go pick up my make a uh, stealth roll. Steph. And again, reminder, I have another plus four to that. Okay. I need to make a note of just what everyone's passive perception is. Picking up my shield. Okay, and the guy's dead, right? Yes. Yes. I'm gonna go get my dagger. I want my dagger. My daggers are my babies. Okay. I gotta go pick up my javelin that was stuck in him. Alrighty. And the other guy. And with <laughs> that, we will go ahead and end this episode of Divas and Dumbasses. And we will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Huzzah. Alright. Bye bye.